No, I had a question. I've been wondering. You're out here on the trails and stuff, but the manufacturer says one thing, but the internet says another. What tire pressure should I be running? We got a GBC Dirt Commander 2.0 here on a Method Race Wheel. 29.9 on a 14 inch rim. They are an eight ply wheel with a load rating of 1,280 pounds. Maximum 35 PSI. No, that's what the manufacturer suggests, but the internet doesn't think so. Uh, I don't even run it at that. So with the question, do you run your tires at 35 PSI like it says on the tire? Well, I did what any sensible person would do, and I got on Facebook and asked what PSI you run. Let's see what the internet has to say. 31 inch carnivores, 10 PSI all the way around. 32 inch pro armor crawlers, XGs at 8 PSI. Vanquish 798, 32 by 10 at 10 PSI. 32 by 10 by 14 terabytes at 8 PSI. 35 inch Super ATV Warriors at 5 PSI with beadlocks, mountains, trails, and snow. MRT Race Stickies 33 inch 10 to 15 PSI all over Idaho and Utah. Mountains and rocks in Moab, Sand Hollow 6 to 8 PSI for rocks and 10 to 12 on the dirt. This tire here set at 14 PSI. This one's over here at 35 PSI. Just to show you how the tire is going to flex on a small obstacle, I guess, a rock or whatever. Here's that 14 PSI, you can see how it's all gripping around here. <clears throat> the tire is forming more to the obstacle. <laughs> Alright, as you can see the tire is more forming around the object here, the cinder block or a rock in most cases. With the 35 PSI in there, there's a lot less contact on here. Uh, with the tire to the cinder block, uh, giving you a lot less traction. Nothing too scientific -y about that. Did I just show you a quick example there? Uh, let's go back in the shop here and uh, I'll show you some examples of under and over inflated tires real quick. Hi right, guys, here's a, well, what was a brand new uh, tire and wheel. Uh, racing out at the Badlands Off-Road Park. Running my normal 14 PSI, but uh, I think this one might have been a little low. <laughs> but anyways, coming up, a, coming up a hill, looking straight into the sun, and then you can see a piece of concrete or something, or rock, hard rock, something like concrete, whatever it was. Passenger side, I see it, too late to swerve and miss it. Front tire hits it, goes over just fine. Rear tire, which was this one, it took a pretty big beating. We get up and you can just kind of feel that you have a flat tire now. Yeah, uh, we got that. Uh, stopped me through, pulled over, tried to put air in it and stuff. Just thought maybe maybe it lost air or something. Oh, it lost air all right, I mean. <laughs> when it hit, it hit right here on this side on the rock. Bent the wheel. But that's not all. It cracked. Uh, 360 degrees all the way around the wheel there. I guess it was a hard enough impact. We were probably doing somewhere between 40 to 50 miles an hour. I'm not positive, wasn't paying attention to speed, but just guessing because it was on a straightaway spot or coming out of a corner, straightaway going uphill. So I'm assuming we got up around 40 miles an hour right then when we hit it. But yeah, that's. That took out a brand new method wheel and a brand new GBC Dirt Commander. That's an expensive day. <laughs> now the other time that I lost, now the other time that I lost a tire out at the Badlands, first race ever, well first uh, cross country race ever. This is way back in like this is 2010, I believe it was. Anyways, running the running the GBC still. <laughs> I've been running these things forever, but uh. This is when I didn't know anything about <clears throat> what tire pressure I should be at and stuff or anything on there. But I was running at the manufacturer specs, running 35 PSI, 30, 35 PSI, somewhere in there. And going up a hill and just clipped this like basketball sized boulder there. And it put a golf ball sized hole in, this, in my sidewall. It 
no spares, no nothing, new to, brand new to everything, uh, side by sides basically. And it took us out, second lap in, and my day was done. <laughs> but uh, that was definitely, it was just a, barely grazed it and stuff. Just an overinflated tire, I'm assuming, or I just hit the rock just right. And uh, there I went. That's when I was told I should be running somewhere around 12 PSI uh, out there at the Badlands. So the question on solving the what PSI should I run? I always tell everyone run around a 12 to a 14 PSI and that'll get you through most situations. I'm not 100% on dunes because I've never ran with paddle tires or anything like that. So if you have, leave a comment down below on where you should be at on the dunes with your experience. All right guys, if you like this non-scientific uh, explanation of PSI, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what type of tires you run with the, and what PSI you run at. And uh, see you on the next one. Peace.